sunburnt, my rod's in about a hundred pieces, cameraman Sonny's have been smashed, but fuck, what a week. So we're currently in Exmouth, but for the past week we've been about 120 nautical miles north of here. We've fished out to Barrow Island, which is sort of a long flat pancake looking thing with a few shrubs on it, but the fishing was insane. We then went out to the Montebello Islands, which is basically an old nuclear testing facility, and Matt GTs, the sailfish, this joint was off its head. Now we're here with the guys from Monster Sports Fishing, and the reason they call it that is because this thing is a monster operation. Starting with the mothership, this thing's 70 feet is an absolute beast. It has twin 860 horsepower mans running through twin turbo Hamilton jets. This boat is specifically designed for this kind of terrain. It only draws a meter and a half, but gets up and boogies at 25 knots. Now this baby's built for adventure touring. It has a big double berth up in the bow and bunks the rest of the way through. She's capable of carrying eight anglers on board for long range missions. Now the team at Monster Sports Fishing have teamed up with the guys from Peak Sports Fishing. You probably know that name, that's Eddie Lawler, probably one of the most legendary skippers on the west coast of Australia. Eddie rolls with a 36 foot black watch which side saddles up against the mothership nicely. He also runs a 25 foot contender You've probably seen photos of that baby backing down onto big blue marlin, and we're talking granders. So we were pretty excited to spend a week with this crew. Now I've caught all the pointy nose fish, black marlin, striped marlin, and blue marlin, but I've never caught a sail. And all I wanted to do was just catch one little sailfish on this trip and I would have been stoked. But we caught 85. <laughs> now I'd heard a lot about Eddie and his teaser game, supposedly it was on point. But on the east coast, I'm all about dragon plastic with hooks in it. So I was a little bit shocked when we got out to the sailfish grounds and we didn't have one hook in the spread, teasers only. And basically the way the guys do it over here, they, they drag these big dredges and big squid, squid rig teasers over these shallow grounds. We're only fishing in 50 meters of water. And then as soon as the sailfish comes out the back, we send out a few garfish, skipping gar, and then it's usually a pack attack. So one fish will come in, hook him up, get the next one. It's absolutely chaos. There's sailfish jumping everywhere. And it was, it was really interesting to see how these guys did it. Now we love a WA brew, but we seriously couldn't even finish a bottle without someone screaming left rigger, right rigger. The beers were flying all over the deck, half drunk, but it was worth it. Now along for the ride, we had a few Exmouth locals, Rowan and Kerry. Rowan was an absolute machine on the pitch bait and we really had to just elbow, elbow him out of the way to get an actual bite because he was straight into it as soon as there was a fish in the spread. Kerry too, I think she almost racked up 10 sailfish on one day on her own, so pretty impressive. Now Rowan is a demon on the pitch bait and he was pretty competitive out there, I have to tell you. Couldn't even get a bait past him at some point. He even caught a sailfish on fly. That's it, that's it. Spirits were high, especially when he busted out the grey goose and the champagne. He, <laughs> he was just spraying that thing all over poor Kerry, but she, she took it like a trooper. It was actually Rowan's birthday on the trip and he put away some serious sailfish numbers, even knocking one over on the fly rod. <laughs> While the black watch is out there catching sails, the contender is fishing shallow for GTs. What the boys would do, they'd sneak up on these 
sort of unsuspecting looking beaches, just like a normal beach, and cast these big poppers and stick baits into the washers. And I think it was our maybe 20th cast of the day, we'd pinned a 30 kilo one straight off the bat. Well, Rowan, Rowan had one that thing came completely out of the water to eat this big stick bait. Now I love GT fishing, and I've done a lot of it on the East Coast, so I was keen to see how these West Coast ones pulled up. And it didn't take long, I reckon half an hour, before I'd pulled my PB GT on a stick bait out of their washers. So pumped. Now the gear you're using up here is big spinning reels with heavy braid and long rods. The key, as Wes tells me, is a long cast. Now I actually caught my fish doing the mud skipper technique, which is landing it on the beach and then skipping it off into the wash. And apparently if you can if you land that, if you land that lure right on top of the fish, it's gonna spook and you're no chance. So you wanna sort of be casting just in front of it and Sometimes you even get them on the blind cast, which is sort of what happened with my fish. Just came out of nowhere and monstered it. Also on board, we had the old salt Bruce. This bloke, he, I think he was in his mid 60s, but he could cast a huge popper all day. I was asking him about his training routine and he said he goes out paddling two times a week, has two personal training sessions a week. Mate, if I can throw a popper like that when I'm 65, I will be absolutely stoked. Also on board, we had Sangeeta, the little Indian weapon. She wanted to catch her first marlin, but unfortunately it didn't happen for her, but I think she's gotta be happy with catching like 20 sailfish and catching her first GT too, so she was pretty stoked. So when you're in the contender, you're nosing sort of in and out of these awesome little bays, really shallow water and this sort of amazing turquoise colour with big bombies and big round coral, coral edges sort of popping out. And it's not all about the GTs, you can do a lot of light tackle fishing in these areas and we caught an incredible range, mixed, huge mixed bag, we caught big spangled emperor, caught Spanish mackerel, coral trout, more coral trout than I've ever caught in my life, and on stick baits too, which is pretty cool. We caught Chinamen, which over here apparently are a prized fish because over in the east coast they are full of cicatera, but over here, nah, straight in the kill tank with that thing. <laughs> We, we caught a range of trevallies and we even managed to pull some ginormous queenfish off these huge bait balls. We were just driving along one day and the whole in front of the boat was just all black. And Eddie, Eddie goes, oh, that's a bait ball. Jump in with the jack. And I go, no thanks, let's have it cast it at first. Cast one, queenfish straight on and sh absolutely sharked within two seconds. So definitely wasn't jumping in there. And even when you pull up in the arbor, you can have a fish off the back of the boat. The boys got stuck into the Golden True Valley, which is pretty cool. Just when you're sitting in a nice protected bay, having a beer. Now this is adventure touring at its best. The accommodation definitely isn't five star. We had a good time on board, but could have stretched out with a bit of extra, extra bedroom. But in terms of the fishing, this place is five million star. Whether you're just coming out here alone, coming out with all the boys, or coming out here with your missus, you can have a great time, guaranteed. It's awesome having the mothership there and you can sort of sit back on the boat, have a beer at the end of the day and sort of make your plan for the next day, whether you want to go sort of popper fishing, do a bit of light tackle stuff, or whether you want to go out and have a crack at a game fish. But which sort of whichever way you choose, you're sort of gonna have a good time. But with the crew on this boat, they're all world-class fishers and they're great guys. Have a beer with them at the end of the day and talk shit. Sam Warrock. You may know him as the bloke that brings in contender boats, but this monster sports fishing operation has been his goal for the last few years. And he's finally brought it all together and done an absolutely awesome job. Most people call me Sammy. I'm starting up this great new exciting business with Eddie Lawler from Peak Sports Fishing and we've uh, named it Monster Sports Fishing. Currently sitting off Barrow Island down in the, no in the North Channel. And uh, this, this, look at this place, it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's got so much to offer. Teamed up with Eddie, he bought a contender off me 10 years ago. And he came walking into the shop, he'd just been over in Fiji, hadn't washed in about two weeks, dreadies, flip flops, and I thought, who is this bloke? Anyways, I thought, what a dude, but can he afford to buy a contender? Anyway, we struck up pretty well and uh, that was 10 years ago. He bought the boat and started up peak sports fishing out of Exmouth. And he's a great bloke, amazing fisho. He's the only captain in Australia to have caught a blue marlin over a thousand pounds, which he did last year, him and his crew. 
And anyway, I, I came over when we delivered the boat. We've developed a great friendship. And he and I just discussed what an awesome opportunity there was on this coast to get something going with a mothership and sports fishing boats. It's taken us five years to get here, but we've got it operating and we're just loving it. Beautiful big boat, high voltage, which is awesome. It can accommodate eight people comfortably. And we've got the 36 Blackwatch and a 25 Contender. So, you know, some of the best sports fishings you could possibly want to fish off. Now we've been spoiled with the food on this trip. The chef is an ex Four Pines chef, and he's been cooking up some incredible dishes every night. The galley opens up into the dining area where meals just get shot straight out in front of us while we all sit around, drink beers and talk about how good we are. Yeah, I'm same. Now, this place, it will fuck you up pretty bad. Fuck up your gear, fuck you up, everything. But if you really want to sort of bust out from that sort of conventional charter out to the Great Barrier Reef, this is next level fishing out here. Awesome boats, awesome fishing, awesome crew. I'll be back for sure.